in the uh, process of making Mark II. That's old Mark I. <laughs> Goes well. But this one, I just took it out on its first test ride and it was pretty slow. So I can't put my battery on it. And it's still slow. There's no battery in there. So I've decided the problem must be with the controller because I've done a little soup up on that one with a shunt. Don't think I've touched this one, so I'm going to do the shunt on this one and see if it goes as fast as this one. It doesn't seem to be the battery because I was worried that the BMS was cutting the power. Um, so I might have a low one. It does feel pretty, pretty warm to be fair. I don't understand why it's hot. This battery on my scooter and it went like a missile. So the only thing wrong with this one's got to be controller. So I'm going to give this a shunt boost and uh, we'll see how it goes in. Right, to do the. Right, to do the uh, controller, you take off the back and then you do these little screws that hold in the, the heat sink for the uh, MOSFETs. Undo these. Alright, so undo these screws there. The little bar will normally f like sandwiches the uh, MOSFETs in, that normally falls out. They undo this end there. And then boom, and she slide out. Sometimes they have these weird metal clip things that hold them in as well, like um, spring clips. Okay, and then inside, put it fits. Capacitors, and then uh, these bits of your shunts here. These are little sorts of these bars that look like little rails in the park. <coughs> They're the shunts. Basically, it measures the resistance drop across there or some shit, um, and that basically tells it how many amps to send the engine so it doesn't overload it, just send them all at once. Um, so, what you gotta do, I ain't done this one, that's why it's getting slow. You can see from, you can have a go on the top and just add, you can solder between them sometimes, that's quite good. Um, but I don't want to drip shit and solder on this top bit, I can't be asked for that. So what I'm going to do is just get some copper wire, take take the, the sleeve off of it and then maybe put four or five strands of copper from here to here, which is going to be the same as, same as bridging, Ooh, same as again, putting extra from there to there, or we'll filling that in, just going to, so that will lower the resistance of this. Which I'm going to test now actually and I'll tell you what the resistance is, hold on. I'm going to solder up that bit there. It? Cut it off. And then I'm going to solder it from there to there. And then she's going to go like a missile. So now I'll just cut that. Boop. So now we just have to solder that on there. And we're good. Okay, now we're all soldered on. Uh, extra bit. Cool. Alright. Got it all back in there. And uh I've had a little go on it, definitely pulls harder, not as hard as the other one yet. Um, but I might just keep this one with a little bit less puller. It might, because this one cuts out if you go full throttle for more than about 15 seconds. This one don't, it might be a better one for like girls and stuff. 